This is Robert Kraft, and I'm your host on SNN Network. And joining me right now is Peter Pascali. He is the CEO and chairman of Pyrogenesis Canada, Inc. It's a publicly traded company. I got two symbols for you, PYR on the TSX and PYRNF on the OTCQB. Peter, thank you for joining me today. How are you doing? Thanks for having us, Robert. Matt, we're doing great. We're doing phenomenal. Well, I, I can't wait to hear a little bit more about it. So with that, before, well, before we get into all the updates and you know sure, everything yeah. that's going on, let, let, let's start with a quick history and overview of the company, and then we'll go from there. Sure. So Pyrogenesis has been around for... Uh, over 20 years. So we're not just a, a recent upstart. Uh, basically, we were around uh, 20 years ago. And what we were doing was we we're doing some research in something called plasma, which is without sounding too Star Trek, it's the fourth state of matter. You heard of solids, liquids, and gases. You take one, it becomes the other. Your science school teacher described this solid as being an ice cube. You heat it up, it becomes water, liquid. You heat it up, it becomes a gas or steam. Well, you heat that up even further and you get a plasma and plasma is very hot. We have plasma torches. We put them into our uh, into our, our processes, and we convert waste to energy, or or extract a, a valuable metal uh, from uh, from waste streams, or convert wire to powders for 3D printing. So we start off as a, an, an R&D company, and plasma was a process looking for an application. So we, we were at the very very beginning of this, and now we're a world leader in commercial applications of plasma processes. Very good. So then what would you say makes the company unique and different compared to some of your peers out there? I mean, we've heard about this waste conversion type technology yeah. forever. So, so I'd love uh, to know that. So if you, you know, leveraging off of what I just described to you, we were one of the pioneers. Over 25 years, we have actually developed one of the largest concentrations of plasma expertise. Uh, and we have over 110 pants uh, uh, to our name. So this has given us a, a significant advantage with respect to our competitors. Um, having this expertise allows us to um, take our torch expertise and, and, and use it to disrupt legacy, uh, legacy industries. Um, one of our first clients in, in, with respect to this was the US Navy, who pro provided us with a, a quite a, a significant amount of funding to, you, to um, uh, provide them with a plasma process to destroy waste on board the aircraft carrier. And they needed to make it really simple, very easy. So a lot of processes out there are very complex. You need a PhD basically to operate them. So ours are very simple. So a, 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 a simple, you know, 18 year old that's just been drafted can actually operate it um, or drafted or signed up, sorry, uh, uh, can, can operate it. So our system is extremely simple to operate. Um, and we have a, a lot of plasma expertise so we can actually uh, uh, address different different problems, niche problems within um, within various industries. Very good. So I, I have a quick question on the technology side of things. So this this torch this torching process. So when when you convert the waste, what is that using your technology, what does that then convert into? So our our technologies are often under four very independent business lines, waste destruction being one of them. So um, and, what we could do is convert the waste into electricity, uh, which is which is. But on a, a nuclear aircraft carrier, you don't need it. So the idea there is just to just to destroy the waste and get rid of it, basically. I mean, into something that's not noxious. Uh, in other in other uh, offerings, the 3D printing. 3D printing is where we take wire and convert it into powders. So what we do is we have the wire. We have three torches that are pinched on the wire, and what happens at the end? Small spherical metal powders are uh, ideal for 3D printing. Uh, come out of that process. Where are we at in terms of the markets that you serve that would potentially use your technology right now? Because this seems very, you know, as you said, very Star Trek-y, plasma yeah. technology, all that. So, so where are we at right now? You know, what's the adoption rates? So right now what we have are four distinct business lines. Basically we have uh, offerings. Uh, iron ore palletization is just a sexy way of describing how you change out uh, a fossil fuel torch with our, pla our clean plasma torch, reducing greenhouse gases to zero. And, and that has resonance in the iron ore pelletization industry where they are concentrating the iron ore at the source before transporting it. Then we have a metal recovery, uh, a waste recovery uh, offering where we recover valuable metal from a waste stream in the aluminum industry. Third, we have the, 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 the one that I just described to you, the, uh, uh, the environmental and, and a little bit on the, on the 3D printing, which I described to you as well. Each one of these offerings are independent of each other. 
So we've kind of de-risked the company. Also, each one of these business offerings have been vetted by multi-billion dollar companies. They've actually put their name behind, like the US Navy on the, on the environmental offering. We have multi-billion dollar iron ore pelletizers looking at incorporating our, our plasma torches, replacing their diesel burners and reducing their greenhouse gas footprint. Um, and each one of our lines, you'll see that multi-billion dollar companies have actually done some sort of due diligence for you. They've actually vetted it. They're putting their name behind the product and moving forward. So, I also have to ask you, Peter, I mean, what, what's your background? You know, how, how did you come into all this? So basically my background's in finance. I used to do merged acquisitions for the Fortune 500 on Wall Street in the, uh, in, 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 in the 1980s. Um, so it's very interesting. You've got a high tech company run by a, 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 somebody who's, who's got a background in finance as opposed to engineering. So I take a different approach to um, commercialization that maybe somebody else might otherwise have, have taken. So my background is in, is in that particular uh, finance um, uh, structures, merged acquisitions. Although Robert, to be honest with you, we haven't done a merger and acquisition, but, but that, that's my background. And Peter, from what you can tell us, what would you say are some of the company's value catalysts now for 2021? Well, the one that's right in front of us, what's imminent right now is uh, our, our publicly disclosed intent to list on NASDAQ. Um, we're not doing a reverse stock split. We're not doing a concurrent financing. We're just gonna list on NASDAQ because quite frankly, we find that uh, we've been marketing the, the United States over the past five years and we find there's a lot of interest for our particular offerings. So that's gonna be take place. Uh, we publicly announced that it'll take place in Q1 um, uh, 2021, right now in the next few weeks. And, and, uh, and we're, on, we're on track for that. With respect to our actual, our actual offerings, um, each one of them, you know, as luck, would, as, as luck would have it, they just seem to be all taking off at the same time. Our iron ore pelletization is being uh, uh, reviewed right now by iron ore pelletizers with an intent to replace their diesel, their diesel burners. Uh, 3D printing, we've just finished putting into, uh, into our production line some improvements, locking it down. We're gonna start printing uh, powders this year. Um, in, uh, in, in our uh, dross right offering, where we won recently the biggest, uh, the biggest coat ever put out in the history for dross recovery, which is the metal I was, met, mentioned, I was talking to you about before. Um, uh, on, on the heels of that, we, we won it, by the way, it was a $20 million uh, plus uh, contract. We're looking at adding, and this is also publicly announced, a technology which we will be able to take care of the residues that typically come off of this and in, 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 off, off of handling the draws, no matter who, who does it. So all of these are taking off right now. Um, and so we expect this to be a, a, a rather significant year in terms of commercializing our products um across the board across the board very good so with that where can our audience go and find everything they need to know to follow along the pyrogenesis story well our website we've got a lot of information on our website if they have any questions they can actually email us and we'll try our best to to answer them if we can answer them and it's a repetitive question we'll 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 take it up in the next press release very good and that's pyrogenesis.com that's correct very good. All right. Well, Peter, thank you so much for joining me today. I really do appreciate it. Good luck. Stay safe. And I look forward to our next update. Thanks a million, Robert.